Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a brand new 2022 Dutchman Voltage 4015 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, then we'll close it all up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right guys, we are now up inside the new 2022 Voltage 4015 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel here. Um, I don't have a huge amount of time on this one, so it's not going to be quite as detailed as I usually do, but we'll spin through it real quick. So over here we have a theater seat setup. It does have heat and massage and some little lights down below as well. Cup holder on each arm end. Huge windows overlooking the campsite area of the RV. Those windows in that slide all open. Deep tent safety glass windows. Over here you have your electric fireplace. Currently using the 40 inch Furion fireplace, which is roughly a 5000 BTU electric space heater. There is a radio behind one of those doors there for your indoor outdoor speakers. Big TV standard downstairs here. Do have some overhead cabinet space and pantry space down the side. Up top here, there is a loft up here. Window back there. Spinning back around here. The unit has three ducted ACs on it. They call it the Omni Chill, uh, but it is three ducted ACs standard on the voltage line. Now, when you get to the Triton line, they are two ACs standard. A third on a couple of the larger ones is available, but on most of the smaller Triton models, just two. Island kitchen area here, there's your propane leak detector and an electric outlet down on this side. Undermount stainless sink, high rise spring sprayer faucet. Here we have the 18 cubic foot gas electric nor cold refrigerator on this thing. Large high point microwave. The large insignia oven, four burner stove top, does have the uh, light bulb and stuff inside the oven. It's got a huge oven, really nice setup. Lots of drawer space and cabinet space there as well. Kind of looking down here at the side of the island, more drawer space, some cabinet space. There's a trash can in the middle there. Double step up to the top section here, electric box with the breakers and fuses in it, one of your AC controls. Uh, which also controls the furnace as well, gas furnace. Here's some of your big controls for your slides, your awnings, generator start stop button, some light switches, 12 volt tank heater pads, gas electric water heater, water pump, awning. Um, you can dim the lights on the awnings as well right here. Turbo exhaust fan, I forgot to mention, up there above the uh, stove area does have controls right here for that. Do you have a window here in the hallway? This window does not open, but it does have a blind over it to block it off. Over here we have our bathroom area. Porcelain foot flush toilet, three drawers, some storage space, a little bit of counter space and stuff in here. One piece fiberglass shower, you have a fan up top here, skylight above the shower area. Uh, it does have that uh, adjustable shower bar on it as well. Sit down seat there. Storage for your towels and linens and stuff. Pretty deep storage too. That's probably two and a half, three feet deep. Now you can enter your bedroom from the hallway area, or you can enter through the bathroom. So you have your little dresser area over there, TV up here, big window overlooking the campsite area, some cabinet space on the right. Then you have a closet space over there. Camper king bed, window on each side of the bed does open. 
the bed will also raise up for some storage and stuff there. Quite a bit of room here at the foot of the bed. Again, you can see one of the three airs up here. Controls on the wall over there for that. Nice swing door into the bedroom area. Now going on back to the back here, you have a large glass door going in and out of the toy hauler area as well. Just kind of makes the camper feel more open being that it's a glass door and you're kind of seeing what's going on back there. Rubber diamond plate looking floor here. You do have quite a few D rings in the floor. Some LED light strips around the uh, diamond plate edging of the wall. Big windows back here in the garage as well. These windows back here all open. Electric bed system here, so you can use this as a dinette system. You can make it into a bed. The other bunk is currently pinned up top here. Again, you can see one of those three ACs. Some speakers back here as well. This one was also ordered with the three season door option. So this comes across, you can close it up. It has sliding glass panels in it to help keep the heat and air in when the patio is down. If you don't do that option, you just get a screen back here. Going on out onto the party deck area here. This is rated for 1,500 pounds when it's in party deck mode. You have cables that you can see here, and there's also feet that come down and touch the ground if you'd rather use the feet and leave the cable off. Uh, there's a set of steps that are underneath that sofa over there. Uh, that will take you off the side of the camper. There's a little swing gate here and that would allow you to remove the cable with the foot down and your step down and you can walk on and off the back of the uh, porch area here. Kind of looking up here, you can see power awning back here as well. Um, you do have pre-wire for an observation camera. Definitely recommend that on a unit this size. Now looking forward here, Washer dryer prep right there in the middle. So if you wanted to do a stackable or a combo washer dryer, you could. Obviously you can see the TV up top there, some cabinet space there, controls for these electric beds, the back awning, some light switches just below the TV there. And then right here you have another little half bath area. Porcelain foot flush toilet, some cabinet space, window in there again that will open. So you can kind of use this thing as a two bedroom RV. You can use it as a garage workspace, you know, kind of a multitasking type of RV, depending on what you want to do with it. Really, really cool setup. I'll put the uh, garage length specs down below in the description for you guys. Um, we're going to run outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick, and then we'll come back in and close it up. All right, guys, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2022 Dutchman Voltage 4015 toy hauler fifth wheel here. Uh, we're gonna spin our way around the outside and then we'll head back in and close it up. Again, I don't have as much time as I normally do to do this, but we're gonna get through it pretty quickly. Behind this first door, you have a 30 pound propane tank, one on this side, one on the other side. You have a pretty good size pass through storage area here. It goes all the way across. There is solar prep up here. There is electric outlet, docking light switches, and the light switch for uh, the storage area there as well. Slam lock baggage doors. You can obviously see swing door here. It is a white fiberglass exterior with a lower black metal. They're using the frameless looking windows on the side walls of the RV. You do have two power awnings. Uh, again, LED lights on both of them. You have adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. You also have uh, manual overrides in the front arm head to run them in and out in case of an electronic failure. More ride step above step, rated for 500 pounds, comes down, touches the ground. 
um, just a little bit stronger, more steady than the traditional hover step. Electric outlet there on the side. You have your grab handle here to get you in and out of the RV. Model number also located right next to that. Couple indoor and outdoor speakers in the RV as well. So you got two outdoor speakers up top. Do you have your TV area out here? Now this customer chose to put slide out awning covers on top of the slide rooms. Those are not available from the factory. They were done aftermarket at Couch's RV Nation. If that interests you, talk with your sales guy about that. This unit is a triple axle unit. It does have the More Ride CRE 3000 rubber ride suspension in between the axles there. Just kind of helps absorb some of that vibration and road shock and bounce. Kind of acts a little bit like shocks like a car does. Six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system. So you have two jacks behind the axles, two in front, and then your front two landing gear jacks. Rear door going into the garage has a traditional hover style step rated for 300 pounds. Again, they do this hover style step back here so it doesn't flip up into your garage area and take up any space for your toy hauler. If you like the other style step, you could put those on aftermarket back here if you wanted to. Light down here and also the spare tire crank down is there as well. The little silver rectangle there is a vent there's a vent on this side and a vent on the other side to help vent out garage fumes, depending on what you got in the garage back there. You have a exit off the side of the ramp here. Now there is a foot on the ramp door that you can come down and basically touch the ground and you can remove the cable so you can enter and exit off the side of the uh, patio back here if you want to do that. Power awning on the rear of the coach here. Couple docking lights up top there. Again, you can kind of see from this angle here the more ride, or I'm sorry, the uh, three season door up here. Again, sliding door there that'll swing open to help you get your toys in and out, but also close it up and leave the patio down without losing a ton of heat and air. Unit is prepped for the observation camera on the back. Definitely recommend doing that, especially on a long unit like this. Ladder on the side here to get you up onto your roof. Two fuel stations here. So you got your gauge here to check the fuel tanks. And then you also have in that rectangular box there the area for the fuel dispenser. You do have dump area back here. Remember you got that half bath back here in the garage, so it dumps back here. Black tank flush right here. The other vent for the side of the garage. You can also again see those slide toppers up on top of that. Looking down here, you can kind of see this area. This is your main dump with your main gray, black galley and stuff for the front half of the RV. There's a gray dump handle right back there. You see these little black panels here? Again, this had that 18 cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator in it, guys. So they have to have these vent panels and access panels to the side. Uh, if you do a residential fridge, you would not have those panels there. Detachable power cord right here, 50 amp electric service. It's about a 30 foot, maybe 25, 30 foot cord roughly. Gas electric water heater right here, furnace right here. Docking station area right here. So you have a motion light here. Prepped again for solar to the roof. There's also prepping for solar on the side of this unit as well. Um, so you got different prep sections, depending on how you order the RV. Um, cable inlets, satellite inlets, you have water heater bypasses, winterizing setups, city water inlets, fresh water tank fills, gray and black handles in here, um, that outside utility shower, all that stuff located right in here. 
The jack controls for your auto level jack system is right there. Again, slam lock, swinging door here. The second propane tank here. You do have your main auto changeover regulator up inside there. Generator exhaust out down in this section here. Now, just in front of this door is going to be some stickers. We're going to pop these up for you guys. I want you to see these stickers. Very important stickers to have knowledge of, basically. So you have the first sticker is your main data sticker, which does have your production date, your VIN number. It has the, um, most importantly, the gross vehicle weight on it. So do not exceed that number, guys. Very, very important. Uh, you'll overload the RV. That's your axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Don't exceed that. Now the next sticker popping up here is gonna be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. Now on this unloaded vehicle weight sticker, guys, you're gonna see it does basically tell you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Next sticker popping up is gonna be your cargo carrying capacity sticker, which also again tells you how much gear you can load into the RV. Don't exceed that. And last but not least is your tire sticker. Basically kind of telling you your tire size, but most importantly telling you the proper tire pressure. Don't let the tire pressure drop too low, guys. If you let it drop too low, you can't hold all the way to the RV properly and your tires could blow out a little bit easier. Up front here, we are looking at the really nice designed fiberglass cap here. Has LED light strip across the top, couple V lights coming down the sides. And then you do have another light here just above your hitch. So you can see at nighttime trying to hook up. It's got a little reflective mirror on it as well. And then you do have the Kurt Rotoflex pen box here, which kind of helps absorb some of that chucking when you're taking off and stopping and stuff. So a nice pen box upgrade over the standard stuff. Down below here, we have our Onan 5500 watt gasoline generator. That is standard on the RV. Over here, you do have the battery compartment area and the hydraulic reservoir for the auto level jack system and you also have your battery disconnect back there as well all right guys we are going to go back in close it up real quick we'll be right back on the inside all right guys we're back on the inside of this new 2022 voltage 4015 toy hauler here and i want to show you what it looks like closed so again, when you are ready to open or close it, you have to come back to this main control panel right here. And we're basically going to hit the end buttons here for our slides. Slides are electric slides, 12 volt. So you basically just push a button, they go straight in, straight out. So that is all the way in now and you can kind of see here when it comes in it gets super close to the island so when it's in you are not able to open the refrigerator you could stretch across and get to the freezer part if you wanted to uh, but you're not really getting into the fridge again this is the gas electric 18 cubic foot Norcold, so it will work really well off the grid over here, we're bringing this slide straight in again. Always, always make sure your floor is clean before you run these rooms in. Very, very important, guys, to do so, so you don't run over a toy or a rock or pebble and rip your linoleum floor. So very important to make sure you sweep the floor before you open and close your slides, or before you close your slides. Kind of hard to sweep them when you uh, are trying to open them. All right, so when this is in, again, you are coming right in next to that island. So you are not really getting back to this area. Now, obviously, you can go in through the back garage door and get to the back if you need to. But as far as the middle of the camper, you're not really getting in here. Again, guys, don't forget to check out the people at Couches RV Nation, guys. 
They are one of the internet's largest dealers when it comes to sales. They'll definitely be happy to kind of walk you through the buying process and get you a really great deal on a new RV. Now looking up to the bedroom area here, we'll run this slide in for you real quick. So when this slide comes in, it's again coming straight in. It's gonna get real close here to the dresser area. But with the slides closed, you can still obviously get to your garage from the back door. You could come in here and get to your bedroom, get to your bathroom up here and do what you need to do. So if you were stopping at a rest area or something and trying to take a nap or anything like that, you could do so. All right, guys, so thanks again for taking the time to watch my videos. Sorry this one had to be a little quicker than normal. Um, check back in for some more videos. Thanks again, guys.